Bond Road is the 22nd episode of the second series and is based on the story of the same name from the Valerie series book, Mainline Engines. This is another one of those episodes in the TV series that I would re-watch multiple times whenever I put the VHS tapes on and the DVD on. It's just one of those episodes that somehow left an impact on me. Well, let's go through the story before I go into details. Thomas and Edward's branch lines are very important to the railway. However, their track and bridges are not as strong as those on the main line, so the fat controller does not allow larger engines like Henry and Gordon, for example, to run on them. Although this is purely for safety, Gordon believes the rule is for another reason entirely. One day, he complains to Edward about the fat controller letting Boko pull mainline trains despite him being a branch line diesel. Edward jokingly suggests that Gordon ask if he could take Boko's trucks in return, but Gordon refuses to consider it. Edward notes that it might be a nice change, but Gordon claims the fat controller would never agree and states that branch lines are vulgar before snorting off, followed by an amused Edward. Every evening, both Gordon and Edward take late night trains from Knapford. Gordon takes the mainline express at 6.25, Edward then leaves five minutes later with his train for the branch line. Normally everything runs fine, but that evening there's trouble. A lady wearing a green floppy beach hat is on the platform, saying goodbye to a friend in the guard's van when it's nearly time for Gordon to start. Looking back, Gordon's fireman, who is new to the job, sees what he thinks is the guard waving the green flag, but it's actually just the lady's hat moving. Gordon leaves with the majority of his passengers, their luggage and the guard stranded on the platform as a result. Everyone is surprised and mostly cross. Gordon is soon stopped and brought back, feeling humiliated. By now Edward is late, so he sets off first instead. This causes more trouble however, since no one informed the Junction Shinnerman about the plan changing, and Edward is accidentally sent down the main line. When Gordon follows, he is sent down the branch, and ends the evening being forced to sleep in a side-in at the harbour. The next morning, Ben and Ben arrive to pick up their trucks from Boko in the yard. While neither Boko nor the trucks are there, they do not mind as they much prefer the idea of teasing Gordon. After joking that the large blue engine near them cannot be Gordon, as Gordon would never go on branch lines and he thinks them vulgar, they jokingly conclude that it's a pile of old iron. Bill considers taking the old iron to the scrapyard, while Ben suggests throwing it into the sea. Gordon, unaware of the twins' joking nature, starts to panic and begs Boko to save him when the diesel arrives with some trucks. Boko soon realises what is happening and sends the twins off by threatening to take the trucks he brought for them away. They quickly run off as a relieved Gordon thanks Boko. Not knowing the twins were only teasing, Gordon ends up thinking that Boko saved his life. As I mentioned, this is an episode that I used to re-watch multiple times whenever I had it on VHS tape, and I still re-watch it multiple times whenever I put the DVD on. It's just one of those episodes that stuck to me a lot when I was a kid. I think it has something to do with the plot and the funny moments, like when Bill and Ben tease Gordon. Teasing Gordon would be much better fun. What's that? asked Bill. Shh, whispered Ben. It's Gordon. It looks like Gordon, but it can't be. Gordon never comes on the branch lines. He thinks them vulgar. Gordon pretended he hadn't heard them. If it isn't Gordon, said Ben, just a pile of old iron, which we'd better take to the scrapyard. No, Bill, this lot's useless for scrap. We'll take it to the harbour and dump it in the sea. Gordon was alarmed. I am Gordon. Stop, stop. That part just gets me every time. I also love how extremely pompous Gordon is being throughout the beginning of the episode on his views of branch lines. Unlike the whole of series two, Sir Ringo Starr really does give it his all with his performance in this episode especially when he has to voice Gordon. The best Sir Ringo Starr performance for this episode to me is when Gordon's chatted to Edward about branch lines and Boca. It's not fair, grumbled Gordon. What isn't fair, asked Edward. Letting branch line diesels pull main line trains. Never mind, Gordon. I'm sure Boca will let you pull his truck sometime. Gordon spluttered. I won't pull Boca's dirty trucks. I won't run on branch lines. Why not? Would be a nice change. The fat controller would never approve of Gordon. Branch lines are vulgar. Another top-notch performance in my opinion. And the moment where Gordon begs Boko for help when the twins tease about him being dumped in the sea. Boko, my dear engine, save me! I know it's supposed to be Gordon begging, but because of the way Ringo Starr delivers that line, I can't help but chuckle at the way he does it. 
It just sounds super hilarious. I also find it super hilarious how all their troubles throughout the episode is all started by a lady wearing a green floppy hat, which the fireman mistakes for a guard's flag. That part just always stuck to me as a kid. So much so that I ended up adapting this story for my Thomas series, if you remember. I just love it that much. It's also one of the more visually stunning episodes of series 2. All of series 2 we get a lot of stunning shots from the railway work life, and this episode is no exception. We get beautiful shots of the watermill bridge on Thomas's branch line, the bridge on Edward's branch line, and a great night view in Knapford Station, as well as that awesome night view of the viaduct. It's just an episode that's visually stunning to watch, and it did introduce us to the watermill theme which has become iconic over the years. It's a wonderfully cheerful tune that you could put to any landscape picture and just enjoy listening to it while enjoying the scenery. It's such a great tune. It might not have any runaway scenes or chase scenes or big exciting plots as previous episodes had, but it's another one of those episodes that I can watch multiple times and never get tired of. It just had that long lasting effect on me. And that just seems to happen with some episodes in the series. Usually the more exciting episodes with runaways, chase scenes and crash scenes and new characters are usually the ones that stick with you. But sometimes the simple episodes where not a lot happens can stick with you too for one reason or another. And this one is because of the funniest hell moments and how Gordon takes centre stage. And of course Sir Ringo Starr's top notch performance. It's an episode that I can rewatch multiple times and never get tired of and I highly recommend you check it out as well if you haven't for a while. It's a fun episode starring Gordon, Edward, Bill, Ben and Boko. It's got one of the funniest plot lines in the TV series. And it's one that you can watch multiple times and never get tired of if you love some simple plots. Take a Von Road of your own and join Gordon the Big Engine's hygiene.